Yesterday we talked about the difference between a chatat and an asham. I want to go a next step where Rabbeinu Yonah and Masechus Brachos asked the same question that the Ramban asks, a major difference between the asham talui and the chatat. Rabbeinu Yonah and Masechus Brachot explains that we know at the first Mishnah you have that the earliest time to read Kriya Shema Me'ikar Adin is really Tzeta Kochavim. And you should really have Vada'i Laila. Now, Bini Yonah explains that Vada'i Laila is not three large stars, but it's three Benoni stars. And he says that, but because of Suffolk, we should try to make sure to wait until it's nighttime, that it's Vada'i three small stars, to, to get, beat out the Suffolk. Make sure the doubt, that's true when you're Makabel, when you leave Shabbat, don't do Malacha until you have three small stars. And from there he says, because of the importance of Yirat Hashem, to go and defeat our suffix, defeat any doubt we have. And he explains an unbelievable yisod of the difference between a chatat and an asham taloi. A chatat, as we know, you, like we explained yesterday, you have a sin that you did b'shogig. Normally you'll bring a kizba sira, but if you can't afford it, says the Gemara, that you bring a danka's worth. A danka is a sixth of a dinar. In the currency, it was one ma'a, a sixth of a dinar. However, for an asham talui, which we see in our parsha in Perak hey, is where you had two pieces in front of you, one kosher fat, one not kosher fat. I'm not sure why we're eating fat, but one kosher fat, one not kosher fat. You're not sure what you ate. So there you have to bring an asham talui. How much is an asham talui? The Gemara, the psukim say two slaim. What is two slaim? That's the currency based on the psuk, the numbers in the pasuk. Two slaim is forty-eight ma'a. Meaning, why, as Rabbi Yonah, for a suffix, do you have to bring forty-eight ma'a? And here, all of a sudden, when it comes to the chatat, it's only one ma'a. Why, by suffix, bring more machmir? And Rabbi Yonah explained that because when it comes to a vaday chet, a person pays attention and will regret that he did that sin and will do tshuva. As opposed to suffolk, he'll rationalize and say, really, it's not such a big deal, maybe it didn't happen as a suffolk, therefore the Torah went out of its way. Because of the suffolk, to make sure that you have to actually spend more money to know that it's actually, that status of suffolk needs that much more reparation and tshuva. And this is brought down in Hilchot, uh, in, in Or Chaim, in Shofan Aruch, the Ramah brings down this Rabbi Yonah. I wanted to apply this same idea when it comes to leadership because we learned by the Chet of the Maraglim, we always think that you had 10 Maraglim that were saying, okay, let's stay in Chutz Laretz. And then you had two, you had Yoshu and Kalev that were like gung ho, let's be in Eretz Yisrael. And you read the Pasuk of Vayas, Kalev, Ha'amet, Moshe that Kalev says, Alo, nale, let's do it, let's go to Eretz Yisrael. And we think that he's 100% convinced. And maybe that's why the Torah says, Avdi Kalev, he was my Evan. Ruach acheret aitaimo. Many people think he was totally convinced. Rav Goldvich Zatzal, the former Rosh Hashiva of KBY, in his Sefer explained that no, the Afka, that's not what's going on. Really, Avdi Kalev, Ruach acheret aitaimo, the Ruach acheret is actually he was convinced by the Miraglim, that there was a lot of proper thought process of what they said. How are we going to be able to properly be religious and build a society here in Eretz Yisrael? He wasn't convinced. He actually thought that they had a lot of good cogent arguments. Despite that, the Torah goes out of its way and calls him an Evid. That even with Safik, he wasn't 100% sure. But he said, oh... If Moshe Rabbeinu is telling us, Vayas Kaleva at Am El Moshe, if Moshe is telling us as a Shaliyah of Hashem to tell us this is where we need to be, even with the Safik, that is the sign of a real Evid. Ruach Acher, despite him not being 100% convinced, he went. We see he, he led the, the, the mission to Alon Alev, the Arash Noah which means that a lot of times it's very easy when you're passionate and you're feeling great and you're 100% sure. But many times, we have a suffix, whether it's coming for where we did a chait, and there Rabbi Yonah says we have to do more tshuva. But it's also when you're leading things, and you're not 100% convinced, even there, you have to go out of your way to make sure to do the right thing.